Turning to the low country, a monkey is still on the loose today in Walterboro. The Carlton County Sheriff's Office says deputies are trying to help the owner catch it. Well, this is video from a driver who spotted the monkey on top of someone's shed. Deputies haven't said what type of monkey it is, but it appears to be either a macaque or a baboon in the street. You might remember the small town of Walter. That monkey is no baboon. That's a macaque. Although I didn't get a good look at it, I would highly suspect it's a rhesus macaque. Out of the 23 species, they're the species that is most often used for biomedical testing. I wonder how that monkey got there. Hey, did you know that if you live in the United States of America, your state might have monkeys that they sell? I know that sounds strange, but in South Carolina, in California and in Florida, there are islands that the government rents out to companies involved in biomedical testing. They have these monkey islands offshore in hopes that the monkeys don't make it too shore that they don't escape. There's big business in this. I'm not sure how you feel about it, but it's rather frightening. And let me just share this story with you as to why. That macaque, I can tell you, is probably a male and very dangerous. Listen, dangerous even to their owner sometimes, but anybody that might encounter that animal, especially a child, could be in some serious risk. I was at a Boy Scout camp called Fort Myers, or not Fort Myers, Camp Miles in Fort Myers. This was probably back in 1992, and I saw something that will forever haunt me. We had been in the mess hall. There was probably... 150 scouts or so in there. But the buzz was that somebody had brought a pet monkey into the chow hall. So I had to get close. We all did. Everybody was crowding around and we would make our way forward and we would talk with the man and the monkey would get on our shoulders and we might get a picture if somebody had a Polaroid. And it was all great fun. But just when I got close, I was just about close enough to get my picture. This blonde headed boy. He was a soccer player and everybody loved the guy. He had this beautiful long flowing hair. I envy it because I don't have much myself, but I'll never forget what happened to that hair. The monkey was on the boy's shoulder. The boy was laughing with his friends and suddenly the monkey just snapped. It went back crap crazy. And I saw it lean down and sink its massive teeth into his forehead right about here where his eyebrow is. And it simply ripped and peeled like you might peel off a fruit peel. I saw his scalp, I saw his skull, I saw the blood, I thought I might see brains that went so deep. But I'll never forget that monkey screaming, covered in blood, clenching that boy's scalp. It was horrifying. The boy ended up needing to have something like 180 stitches and staples to close one side of the wound to the other all the way across. There was a lawsuit, the man got sued. In the state of Florida at the time, you could just have a pet monkey. Now there's more laws and such, but uh, I wouldn't recommend getting too close, for sure.